Hey everyone, welcome back. In my last video, I went rabbit hunting, ended up with two rabbits. If you haven't seen that video, check that video out. And in the end of that video, I said I want to make a, a soup that I always like making with rabbit. And what I did was, I cleaned rabbits up, I took the hindquarters off, the back legs, and I took the two back straps off, and rinse them off, put them in a bowl overnight, and let them soak. And this morning, I had the idea of cold smoking everything. First, well, first I want the cold smoke just to meet. Okay. Cold smoke it, take advantage of the cooler weather. It's like in the upper 20s right now, probably a little warmer than that now, not much. But I was just going to do the meat, the rabbit, but talking to a friend of mine, he said, why don't you do everything? The ingredients, the carrots. Well, I have three carrots, three celery stalks, one onion, a fair size onion, about the size of a baseball, and some fresh parsley. I chopped all that stuff up, got my smoke tube ready. I put uh, a maple blend, hardwood pellet in there got that going and I decided to put everything into the smoker and left it sit for about an hour then I went back out and I kind of flipped stirred everything around flipped the the meat around so it gets smoke on both sides so here we are right now what I'm gonna do is get a crock pot All right I'm just gonna use a tongs I'm just gonna, <laughs> it smells good too. I'm just gonna lay these in here. Just lay some vegetables on the bottom first. And drain everything into here. Get all the vegetables. So I'm just gonna rinse this out. Use the, the broth to kind of rinse rinse out the, the foil pan. I don't know if I'll add a little bit of water. Maybe I'll add water tomorrow morning before I leave. But with the cooking, most of there's going to be moisture coming from the carrots the celery and the onion and I'm sure some of the meat will have some moisture also that, that's in there. I'm going to salt and pepper it. What would really be good if I salted or smoked some salt too. <laughs> Maybe next time. I'm just going to Put a little bit of salt in here, not much. I like pepper, so I'll put a, a good amount of pepper in there. That's good enough. So that is it. I am going to put this in the fridge, like I said, and come tomorrow morning, I am going to put it on, turn it on low. I'll set it right here and Hopefully after work, if I'm done early enough, maybe I'll have it for lunch or depending, I'll have it for supper. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's like 3.30 in the morning right now and I'm about ready to head out for work. So I'm gonna turn this on low, we'll plug it in first, turn it on low, then hopefully Nine hours, ten hours from now, I'll be able to uh, come home to a nice meal. And there, it's all set, ready to go, and so am I. I will see you in a few hours. Well, I'm back home, 11 hours later, 
a little better than 11. And when I walked in the door, I could smell like the the onions and the celery and things like that and the broth. And then I could smell the smoke from uh, cold smoking everything. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm going to show you right now. Oh man, that's <laughs> probably a little hot to eat, obviously, because it's still on, it's, it's hot. I gotta find the spoon. Oh, that looks so good. Everything is just falling apart. It's, that's something I need to be careful of though too. Or the bones. Oh, by the way, what else I do to something like this is I don't put noodles in. I sometimes I'll put like uh, minute rice, like just a cup of minute rice or maybe a little bit better just to help soak up some of the, the broth. And it's just, it's an extra filler, I guess. So are noodles, but I think rice does just a little bit better job at um, soaking up everything. So I, I think I might do that too. All right, it's been been a day, but coming home, smelling this, and waiting to dig into it is worth it. So I'm gonna dish up myself some, uh, what I did, some soup here. Here's a bowl. <laughs> what I did is I uh, mentioned that I was gonna put some rice in it. To help uh, soak up the juice, the broth. It just tastes so good. Might have put a I I don't measure anything, all right. Whatever I feel is a, a good uh, amount of rice. This might have been a little bit too much on, huh? maybe not. Cottontail rabbit in a a soup, just like chicken chicken noodle soup. But with rice. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Wow. You know, smoking this stuff beforehand. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That is unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to do this from now on. Even with chili. If it's a, a colder day out, I'm going to thaw out some venison, brown venison. Cold smoke that. Oh. Wow. Oh, boom. Wow. I can't get enough of it. If you made it this far in this video, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I got a lot of cooking videos. I said that in the previous, in the hunting video. These are the rabbits that I shot. And uh, it comes full circle. I love it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. This is so good. Mmm. There's a zing in here. I don't know what it is, but it just makes it pop. I'm in a loss for words. This is so good. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hope you enjoy the little things. Hope you hope you get out. Get out hunting. Try this. You could try it with squirrel, squirrels. I got an idea for squirrels that I want to do this week, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I will. Squirrels and gravy. It's not going to be homemade gravy, but yeah, get, get outside. Enjoy the outdoors. Do some hunting, do some fishing, trapping. Just get outside, go for a hike. 
you know, I just, I just love hunting. I just love, I love the outdoors, period. So, Alright, I'm just ranting and raving now. I'm gonna eat my supper here. It's so good. It's so good.